back to the Goons Podcast, your grandma's fourth favorite podcast on Facebook. Thank you for the introducing you on, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, I hate being a, here. That's not even a real place, McNasty. Uh, that doesn't have to be. Well, I mean, it's a place in her heart. That's all that matters. So the fourth grandma, place in her my heart. My grandma's dead. She doesn't have a heart. Uh, well, I have two very alive grandmas. Grandma and... hearts aren't very strong. Okay, privileged white male. <laughs> grandma, grandma hearts are not very is, strong. That's a good point, Soup. What does being white have to do with having two alive grandmas? Okay, you can't understand my struggles. No, you you are what? you are You're the paper consistency white. of purgatory. <laughs> you have no room to talk. <laughs> the consistency <laughs> of purgatory. Thank you, McNasty. You look like somebody smeared sour cream on a chair. That's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you are. Let's think of other white things we can call do. Hmm, white t shirt. Hmm, white t shirt, yeah. <laughs> you, are, you are a white t shirt. All t-shirt, right, first topic. You look like the front white page of the pants, White pants from the 1970s. Soup, you look you like look, an egg with a goatee. You look like a bird no, ate nothing like but mayonnaise for a year and then took a dump. Okay, is that all? Um, I don't know. Is there? You look like baseball leather. What? You look like the background of your current <laughs> logo in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all look like sexy mama boys. I don't know about that one. Thumb sucking <laughs> lunatic. Yeah. That's a little bit sus. Okay, any, any, any who. <clears throat> um, <Okay>. um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, welcome back to our our dumb podcast where we frog make fun cast. of each other for. Yes, frogcast. Sexy frogs. <laughs> Anyways, um, I have a good po- I, I have a good podcast. This podcast I have a good, sucks. I have a topic of a podcast currently. Topic oh my podcast. god! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Sexy frogs. Why do you yeah. guys listen to this? <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I know. That's oh. fucking hilarious. I would like. Yeah, you. Guys, I want you guys to comment down below why. Obviously, if you're listening on Spotify, you can't really comment. But if you're on Try YouTube anyway. watching this. Tell us why you listen to Write us. Write it on a piece of paper and ship it to one of us. <laughs> oh, wait. Did I tell you guys that that one podcast where we told some guy to shave one of his legs and like, or just anybody in general to shave one of their legs and take a picture and send it to us that I got tagged. Really? <laughs> one of those. And a naked leg? Yeah. On Instagram, someone tagged me in a uh, photo. Them. One of their <laughs> legs were just bald. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure it was correlated? Are you sure somebody just didn't want to? Well, it was like right after we leg? had uploaded that one. So, <laughs> huh. I want somebody this time. I want somebody to paint all of their nails in rainbow colors and take a picture and send it to us. Oh, I'm not tagged in it weird. anymore. Where did it go? Uh, maybe they, maybe they actually added it in it. speaking of weird things. Yesterday, I got a comment on my video from a girl and she's like, do you want a picture of the sole of my prosthetic foot? And I said, yes. And she DM me a picture of the sole of her prosthetic foot. So, in case anyone and your wondering what those look like, that? yeah, um, you get feet. You get prosthetic. <laughs> you get feet pics from a from a, from another girl. <laughs> it was like a piece of wood with a number on it. Like yeah, but to her, it's still a foot. So, <laughs> all right. Well, I don't really sexualize uh, ankle hands. I mean, if she you sent you a though. picture of like a dildo, that's. You know, but dildos are fake dicks. It's kind of the same thing. Fake foot, fake cock. I don't. I'm. I'm really struggling to connect these dots. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. You're like, oh well, she sent me a picture of a foot, but it was a fake foot, so it didn't matter. She sent you a picture of a fake I, cock. That's still like. I don't like think sexual. my girlfriend would care if somebody sent a picture of a regular foot. What the fuck? Why would a Why would a girl send you a picture of a real pe- penis? Uh, there's a lot going on. Can we shoot. talk about something else? Why? <laughs> because that's safe for your DMs only. But. Can we yeah, talk about exactly. something else? I don't want to do the same more. <laughs> okay, uh, I have a good uh, topic I want to start with. Um, okay. What is like the coolest, like most interesting trips you guys have been on? I don't really have any. I haven't really Acid. been much places. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably pretty interesting. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I, she'd be probably a good one. I don't know, I've never done acid. Yeah, me neither. I don't. I, I don't know. I like honestly. I just I like traveling to conventions. That shit's always fucking fun. I'm like True. those are definitely more interesting than just tra- traveling to like I don't know somewhere tropical or like even Europe. Like I don't know. I just find those are always more interesting. The other ones are usually like more relaxing and chill and stuff. But I don't know. Pax always has some weird shit. Yeah, I went to uh, Italy and Greece mm. last year for two weeks on a big boat, and Why it was pretty fucking wet. Um, I, I went wherever the boat went. 
Oh, it was like a cruise kind of thing. Yeah. Uh. And it just said, hey, we're in Italy. And I said, okay. So I walked around Italy and then I'd go back on the boat and then you'd be in Greece. It had like 10 stops and it was it was nice, but I wouldn't really consider it like interesting. It was just like, you know, relaxing and chill. But did you buy anything from there? Like like, clothes or anything? uh, uh yeah but i didn't buy anything that i couldn't have bought here i just thought it'd be cooler to buy something there like i bought two saint laurent shirts that you can also buy here but i bought there because <laughs> yeah like, but it's cool when you're getting it like yeah exactly it's like these were these were made over there yeah. so yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's way cooler well you kind of so, justify uh, spending extra money when you're on a trip too because you're like oh i'm on vacation yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. it'll be okay well, i've already, already paid much shall we to get here i might as well spend another one <laughs> yep <laughs> i don't know those, those aren't very interesting though they're very generic boring trips i mean not boring just like relaxing yeah but I, I don't know packs and stuff like that is probably the most interesting. Well, I mean, is there anything at PAX that you did that was like, like out of the ordinary? Not just like, oh, I hung out with my friends and got drunk. Not really out of the ordinary, but like anything the misfits are involved in always gets pretty fucking hectic. Mm-hmm. Like they had a San Diego TwitchCon party and Is I knew it was going like to be got inter- stole or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the whole fucking conspiracy theory bucks went on. But like, I knew it was going to be a pretty interesting night when they literally had weed ordered to the house and they had like dudes in like army vehicles drop it off nope. <laughs> like br- like huh? massive piles of weed. <laughs> I was like, oh boy, this is this is going to be something. And yeah, it was a fucking mess. There was like way too many people there. And then somebody shot porn upstairs in the gym and we walked in on that. And there was mm, this there. Hearing about that. Yeah, that was a, I, they, they Wait, talked about it on their pot. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Hell? So. All right, so they talked about it on their podcast, so I'm sure a lot of people have already heard it, so I'll just give the, the spark notes. Um, essentially, these dudes walked in, and they were all just wearing black shirts and black jeans. And I didn't see them walk in. Box so it's told a race me about thing. this. No. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, and then later, two dudes walked in. One had a camera. And the other one was just, like, with him walking around. So we thought they were just, like, content creators, but nobody knew who they were. Then this guy grabbed the pamphlet of, like, the house. Like, when you rent it through Airbnb, it just has, like, a pamphlet of all the, like, amenities that are in the house. Mm-hmm. And he was walking around with it. And I think it was uh, Swagger that asked him who he was. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'm the DJ. Like, Ryan uh, yeah. had me come in. And he, everyone was like, all right, whatever. But then, like... 15 fucking girls came in and no one knew who they were and they went right upstairs into the gym <laughs> box was tweaking he was like freaking out coming up with all these fucking conspiracy theories so he's telling fitz um and i'll sit with fitz john and smitty and we went upstairs and like opened the door and this was the first one to walk in and he's you know he's like seven foot a million so he's pretty intimidating um so he walked in and there was this like tits out and these girls making out and two dudes filming <laughs> and he was just like what the fuck's going on here and then for some reason swagger was the one that actually you know yelled at them and shit but not much else yeah, happened that. from that but it was just fucking it was just fucking weird just an odd place uh, and then they had this cool ass fucking uh you could walk up to the top of the house that they uh, rented mm-hmm. and like everyone was just like smoking up there and stuff and you could literally see tijuana mexico from they're like little that's wild like roof thing yeah it's pretty fucking sick to be honest i've never like been that close to mexico without being in it so i don't know that's weird from someone who's like from canada you don't really see mexico here obviously i don't know yeah it's actually the though. um a latina chick one time that's pretty much how i felt wait what it's about as close to mexico <laughs> as i can get without actually being in it <laughs> <laughs> I stuck my I stuck my dick in a microwave burrito and I thought that was, I thought that was yeah. pretty close like, to being in Mexico. This is what Mexico's like this is great. <laughs> I got this some fucking sick. I, like, I got beans. some fire sauce from Taco Bell once. It's about as close as I've been to Mexico. <laughs> I butt chug tequila. Oh man, I'm gonna fuck you up. Butt chugging, butt chugging anything would fuck you up. I know yeah, butt chugging water. Do you? I you know you butt chug anything. Cum. You absorb it faster that way. <clears throat> yeah. People you actually... ever watch A Thousand Ways to Die growing up? Mm-hmm. I used no. to love that show. The Jacuzzi butt? 
I watched this one episode where this guy had like some surgery done in his mouth where he, and he couldn't like drink anything. Oh. What the and uh, or or something like that, like he couldn't eat or drink for like a day, but he was such a raging alcoholic that he wanted to drink, and he uh, got his wife to like funnel alcohol up his ass, and he fucking died. <laughs> wow, I mean that wife's a keeper though. What a hell of a gem. Well, I mean, well not anymore. She's, she's, a widow. she's widowed. <laughs> <laughs> well, she widowed. You know, she was great for a little bit, but for man, about a day. <laughs> Dude, that's actually fucked. I can't imagine being addicted to anything enough where I'd like want to put it in my ass. <laughs> so what kind of a charge do you get for that? Dude, like manslaughter? Relate. Shut up. Yeah, is that is that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she got in trouble. I mean, I, I, he was like he wanted to have alcohol up his ass. So I mean, it's not. <laughs> yeah, but she actually her fault. Like, I mean, I don't. Yeah, like she wasn't doing it with the intent to fucking kill him. So well, that's what manslaughter is. It's assisted yeah. suicide. Yeah, I don't. But that, well, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't think any of us are yeah, even qualified to even say it. the word lawyer out loud. So I don't think we. They were really just, just assuming you're too idea. stupid to know that. So they probably just let you off. <laughs> if you say it with enough confidence, people will believe you. So <laughs> what if someone was like, "Hey, dude, give me a handshake," and I shook their hand and it ripped out of their body and they bled out and died? <laughs> Would I be in trouble? Yes, I, t- I don't. <laughs> Depends how hard you pulled, I guess, or if it was like prosthetic or like freshly sewed back on after a severe incident. And he's out there shaking people's hands. That's how could him. you get in trouble if your husband came up to you and said, "Listen, I want to drink. Put alcohol in my asshole," and they died. That's that's not your fault. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Put it to. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The, I don't know the fucking logistics of this. I don't Do know. any lawyers I, watch I, us? If you're a lawyer and you watch us, let us know down below. No, no, that's uh, our, our comment section yeah. is famous for being mostly we're lawyers just, and doctors. Yeah, a bunch of intellectuals point. and doctors and lawyers, PhD <laughs> holders. Yes. <laughs> that's literally the, the furthest thing from our fucking viewers. <laughs> okay, before we stray off a little too far, I still want to hear Soup and Do's cool s- trip stories. Uh. I've just had a bunch of like family vacations, really. Uh, well, I know you went you to Washington that there. one time with your friends. Oh, I did. I mean, yeah, we just we didn't do anything like super crazy or anything. We just stayed in Airbnb just got and drunk drank the whole weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah your typical weekend with that's friends. The best part about traveling with friends. You just get fucked. Yeah. Up. Just get hammered. Yeah, and then yeah. it's been a week and you forget anything that happened. <laughs> yeah, for some Except reason it's a lot more fun to get drunk when then. you're like out of town. I don't know why. Yeah, your home is just no like, yeah, responsibilities. <laughs> yeah, like, true. I mean, you don't have to clean up anything where you're staying, and you can just <laughs> fucking <yeah>. go ape. <laughs> can eat a frozen pizza pocket at four a.m. because you're really fucking high. Yeah, we went to day at like five a.m. just because didn't even thought just ate a frozen pizza pocket oh, right God. out the bag. <laughs> it break your teeth? If you try to do that? <laughs> no, it was like. So pizza pockets hit me up and they're like, "Hey, heard you're at Pax," and I was like, "Yeah." And they're like, oh, "We're gonna give you a care that. package," and I was like, "Sick." And I thought they'd drop off like two boxes, and there's like fucking twenty. <laughs> I was like, "Bro, it's just me and Grizzy," <laughs> and like we don't even have a microwave, <laughs> so they just fucking thawed out. I just ate like this half mushed piece of bread. Yeah, thing. Oh, like, gross! Yeah. <laughs> it was so nasty. I was like, one, I was just like a room temperature one. I was just fucking drunk as shit and i, Yo, just, I needed a snack because he ate all of the chips so <laughs> speaking of which do you guys ever like peel the frozen cheese off of a pizza before you put it in the uh, oven and eat that shit no. it's so good not all of it just like you take some of it off <laughs> i'm not saying you like de cheese the pizza or are you eating frozen cheese because it's because it's good all right comment section let me know you have a lot to talk about you guys have a lot of homework this podcast <laughs> Let us okay. know if you eat frozen cheese. Right I, have so you I have a story. I have a story. I have a, I have so a good nasty. story. That's like a cheese I have a great popsicle. story, dude. It's All right. Good. So listen, I don't have any like I have cool trip stories. Why but, wouldn't like, you like a popsicle, this, Canadian? This, this, this Let me talk, you white bitch. I'm, hey, hey! <laughs> I have a cheese story. Damn it! I want to hear it. Tell me. I've never heard okay. anybody scream that before. <laughs> <laughs> what <are you> <laughs> Everyone, stop what you're doing! <laughs> like a weird so, <laughs> 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 
All right, go ahead so, with the cheese story. My, my story with cheese is this. Like, I, I want us to talk about bad experiences that we've had, like, at the doctor or dentist, because I've had a, a couple of them. But one of my first bad experiences as a kid with the doctor was that uh, I was at my grandmother's when I was, I like, five or six. And you don't know anything about the human body when you're that old, yeah. you know? And um, uh, I was, like, by myself for the most part. Like, my grandmother was just kind of, you know, watching TV or whatever. And you oh, know nice. how... No, my grandmother was not a drug user. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, grandmothers want you to be fed and full. Like, that's what they're notorious yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. And so mm-hmm. it's just like, what? it's a fucking food free-for-all at grandma's. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And I had just found out that day that you can eat sliced cheese not on a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, was a, I, was a, I was a fucking kid, so like I just didn't know. And uh, <laughs> so like I was eating Kraft singles. Probably had, oh. probably had five or six, may- maybe more. I had so many fucking Kraft singles, dude. And I wasn't knowing that it could like cause you to be constipated because I just did not know that that was a thing. Uh-huh. So, so after eating an ungodly amount of fucking craft singles <laughs> with no supervision, <laughs> <laughs> um, I called my mom and I was like, my stomach feels like there's rocks in it and it hurts so bad, like sharp, piercing pain. And she was just like, well, what, what have you ate? And I was like, well, I had like 20 fucking slices of cheese, so. <laughs> Holy shit. You just had 20 fucking like, slices of cheese to your mom? <laughs> she was just like, you're a dumbass. <laughs> so I had to go to the hospital and uh, fucking get butt ass naked in front of a doctor and he had to put an enema up my ass. Oh, the best. <laughs> Dude. Oh, the best. <laughs> yeah, it was I said it that was, was sarcasm. Great. And the Sorry. doctor... It was pretty funny because I was so little. The doctor was just like, how are you feeling after a few minutes of, that he did it? And I was just like, I feel like I had a freaking stick up my butt. Just <laughs> thought, like, the doctor thought that was like the funniest shit ever. Did you, like, I, can, I can totally after. imagine you having an accent like that at the age of five. I <laughs> shit, yeah. I'm just cheese my fucking colon. <laughs> yeah, and then I shit out like big old brown, uh, yellow rocks and everything was good. Oh that yeah, is, that is an awful cheese story. I'm I'm really upset you made a stop talking to tell us about your brown yellow. Rocks. Dude, well, do you have a better story, Blark? Because I can Dude, imagine your stupid I free threw, healthcare threw, Canadian I, ass I does cheese it. on my dog, <laughs> and you got famous for it. Yeah, yeah right. I got famous for it. I got on daytime television because I threw cheese on a bewildered animal. Guy yeah. didn't know what the fuck was happening. He was just eating dinner, and I threw a fucking cheese at him. That's really and right on his back. Dude, dude, there was actually so many people that were like, "This is not funny," and you're an abusive pet owner. It's like, oh yeah, abusive no, I pretty much broke. I pretty owner. much broke his fucking spine there with that <laughs> half an ounce slice of cheese. On the floor. <laughs> it just dies, <laughs> just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Severe concussion like for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't throw a pound of fucking uncut cheddar at him. It was like a one single slice. So, like, you literally just started, like, recording on your phone and threw a slice of cheese and you ended up, like, going well, viral. I, that was something, yeah, I mean, that was something that, like, I always did. I don't know why. Ever since I was a kid, I found it fucking la- hilarious when cheese stuck to shit. <laughs> like, you oh, go on my course, Twitter. Yeah. Crash singles are so back sticky, the, too. Yeah, if you go back on my, like, Twitter from, like, 2017 and 16 and stuff, there's, like, videos of me just, like, literally like trick shotting cheese slices across my house <laughs> dude that would be a cool video idea we should do like, like cheese trick shots trees, like cheese trick shot olympics yeah all right I'd people so listening down. show us your best cheese trick shots yeah <laughs> tweet it at us i want to see i want to see somebody <laughs> like ladder stall yy a, a, a craft single i, I, I switched it out for mozzarella or some shit i 360 my dog in the face with a craft single that was a good one <laughs> so it was, was just a matter like, of time until you got famous, man. Until one and of them you gave off, me yeah. so much shit for throwing my cat by its tail. Yeah, and you're and just throwing you food are. at your all right. animals okay, all the time. Okay, that is a slice of cheese. I didn't fucking so long gay Bowser a fucking animal <laughs> over a <laughs> <Yeah>. face. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this little harmless ass piece of cheese. Like, fuck, it's not the same as throwing an animal. Yeah, but like cats land on their feet after falling like eighty right. stories. So okay, the the cheese. But, on but, my dog and he was fine yeah but was he well, though, he's dead emotionally? now 
I don't know. He's yeah, dead now. yeah. He's so gonna be know. afraid of cheese for the rest of his life. Thanks. To he's, you, his Blarg. life's gone. He, he's not even. He's Cause dead. you killed him, Blarg. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> he's in all those hands now. <laughs> all right. Does anybody all have right. any other awesome cheese stories? I I used to eat cheese a lot when I was younger. Awesome <laughs> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> This is the topic we that came up, by the way, before the podcast. This is just this is no, that, that was definitely a pre-thought-up podcast topic. <laughs> What's your favorite cheese-related story you have? <laughs> Episode 5000, that's what we're going to be on. <laughs> I, uh, I used to eat cheese a lot when I was younger, and, and but I never like I never got constipated from it. I don't know why. I, I, I've, I've convinced myself lately that I, I, I feel like I have just steel bowels. Like, you guys know, when we're recording, I have to shit. It takes me, like, 45 seconds to shit and come back in the room. Yo, this dude only has to wipe his bunghole, like, once, too. <laughs> Usually twice. Twice is my going rate. Unless my it's going just, that's rate. Insane. Unless it's just, like, wildly sloppy shit, but it never is. It's just, I, I have pretty good, like, bowel movements. I wipe about smooth. four or five times on average. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, five to ten trying to start a fire in there. That blows my mind. Like five to ten? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I have, you go... I, you can throw a full roll of toilet paper per <laughs> second. I don't even like rip sheets off. I just grab the the, the tube and just start wet sticking it in my cheeks. Okay. Just yeah. <laughs> scrape it out with the whole roll. <laughs> I like to make it all wet first. Uh, don't get in the toilet bro, and wrap okay, it. Okay, okay. Bro, I, I I took a trip to uh to New York one year and um. I was there for about a week, and I did not shid for the entire week, which, as Why? you know, would, is very... I got hella constipated. Maybe from cheese. I don't remember. <laughs> but top top cheese. Back to cheese. <laughs> cheese, man. <laughs> top, top 10 cheese moments, number one. <laughs> no, but uh, when I came back, uh, we went to, like, a uh, like an Olive Garden or someplace, and for some reason... <laughs> What? I thought you said an Olive Garden. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's a Muslim safe space. But uh, <laughs> no, it was a. Uh, we went to an Olive Garden, and an entire week's worth of shit came out in that bathroom. And I feel really sorry for the man who had to clean up after me because it was on the <laughs> walls. It was on the seat. <laughs> what? It was on the floor. Dude, How did you get are it you on the walls? <laughs> like, are you not joking? No, no, I'm not kidding. It was like on the How back you, of the toilet. Were you like, I didn't, I didn't were sit you down like in time. Tallying the days on the wall of the last time you <laughs> didn't did, like, sit down in time. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't sit down in time, bro. I just imagine you like wiping so fast, just flings everywhere. <laughs> just like, just shoots up your back and hair. <laughs> I'm just like helicoptering the toilet paper. <laughs> One time I had to go shit in a Hardee's. And they had a massive mirror on the like other end of the stall, <laughs> so you could weird. sit there and just look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> That's weird. Weird shit. And I was like, "Who the fuck thought it was a good idea to put a mirror here?" Like I'm looking myself in the eyes while I'm wiping my ass. It's so it's so odd. But it's the best picture I've ever taken of myself. <laughs> Is that your Tinder profile picture? <laughs> just see you fucking wiping. <laughs> I would actually like to see what my like shitting face looks like. Uh, <laughs> you have a shitting face. I feel like everybody like kind of squints or like eh, when you're taking a shit. You don't just sit there. The just vein pops out. Look open, forehead. straight, and don't move, and just oh, just shitting. No emotion. Yeah. Just a f- five hundred mile Vietnam stare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm Comment down you, below what your shit face looks like. <laughs> Have you guys, God, guys ever had an enema so put in homework. or whatever they're called? No. Is it is it an enema? I don't know what it is. I don't, what, isn't that what? when they shoot water up your ass or something? Yeah. An enema well, like clean no, I had like a little. It was like a little pill or something. Like, like a, a prophylactic tablet that you put in your butt. Prophylactic, yeah. Prophylactic, maybe, that's yeah. What it, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, yeah a little medicine. pill. He he just fucking right up right up my tutor. Yeah, enemas are like bags of hot water in like a tube. And they just yeah. squirt it into your Why? back pussy. What is, that? what is the point of that, though? An enema is to break up constipation and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, really? they, didn't, they didn't shoot nothing up there. <laughs> Except for a but, pill. Uh, <laughs> Except for a hot load. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, he was five. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that story still? Okay, I thought we... I thought Turn we me to the man and... I was today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the doctor's office at the church. <laughs> Went to see my priest. He helped me out. <laughs> <laughs> you pre, you go see a priest for constipation. <laughs> <laughs> Just tells you to do like fourteen hail marys. Well, Doesn't do a shit demon out of you. Uh, 
<laughs> well, do you guys have any like bad doctor stories or anything? Because I have a, a couple. Did I? Like, did like I talk dentist about or my, doctor? I, yeah, I was gonna say, did I talk about my wisdom teeth on the podcast before? No. Have I told you guys that story? I don't remember if you I'll did or not. So. Right. <clears throat> I apologize if I already did, but um, so when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, they were pretty much, for the most part, they were like fully buried. Like my top ones were coming out a little bit. But my bottom two were like growing sideways, so they're starting to crowd my bottom teeth. So normally when they're that bad, they fully put you under. But instead of fully putting me under, they just gave me like a local anesthesia, I think it's called or whatever, where they like just basically inject my gums with a numbing thing. But I was wide awake for it. And I had my eyes closed because obviously I just, I don't know, I didn't really want to keep them open while the doctor was just like, you know, trying to fucking take my teeth out. But... I heard this fucking drill going and I opened my eyes to see what was going on and one doctor had the drill going into my mouth and the other doctor had literally like it looked like a fucking pair of like pliers and he had his leg up on the fucking table <laughs> like straddling Pulling leverage and, yeah and he just fucking shoves it in my mouth and he squeezes it like I, like hear my teeth cracking while the other girls and they're just sawing away at my gums and i was wide awake just like listening to all of this oh my god and then just like to put a little little cherry on top the fu- as he pulled my fucking tooth split in half oh. half of it was still on his little fucking pliers. pliers and the other half flew up and landed on my fucking forehead so I just had this <laughs> bloody ass half a tooth sitting on my forehead and I couldn't move. I was just sitting there. It's like a dude perfect and trick. Trick shotting the trick shotting this kid's fucking tooth onto his big fucking forehead. <laughs> and I was, dude, it was such a shit experience. Just being able to hear and like see everything was that just sound brutal. Awful. Oh I, yeah, that was fucking that was definitely my worst experience with uh with a, with a doctor dentist. The only really thing I can think of that I've had is like, I've had a doctor that I just could not understand for the life of me. Oh, that's like, a, he was like very, very Ethiopian doctor. And I, like I would go there. You have stage four cancer and, and he, just have no idea. Just smiling there, at him. I'd be sitting there with my mouth open with like those little things that prevent you from closing your mouth. And he's like, Bula, yeah. didn't mean to do it. And I'm like, he did not click at you. But the, his 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 accent was so strong, I could not understand it. And my mouth opened, so I'm like, clicks at you. <laughs> <laughs> you should run, bro. <laughs> 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 Well, I'm just sitting there like, huh? And he's like, ooh, 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 God, just screaming noises at him because you don't know what to do. <laughs> I just imagine you sitting there doing that. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> just freaking out because you can't understand. <laughs> sound like fucking OP from Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I had well, the worst fucking experiences with the dentist whenever I was a kid. What were you saying, dude? Oh, no, no, no. You go ahead. It was something stupid. Yeah, everything you say is stupid. <laughs> anyway, <Yeah>. so... <laughs> I used to have to have this expander on the roof of my mouth. Oh, I had that too. Yeah, where you have An to expander? put the key. You put the yep, key in and you it turn and you pull. it and it yep. spreads it or cl- pulls it yeah, closer. Well, yep. My key, like what? you suck Hold it on. in the top. I need that wait, wait, wait. Are you having like a headset of braces or something? No, no, what no. Are we okay, talking so about here? It's, it literally looks like. I don't It's It kind of looks like a retainer. It. Kind of looks like the letter X almost. Like the, Mine looked like know. a retainer. Okay, well, that doesn't sound too too bad, but, but yeah, it's it, like it's essentially yeah. just a piece of steel that wraps around both your teeth, and like you turn it, and it pushes them further apart or brings them closer together slowly. Well, it's see, still my, mine was for my whole top row of teeth. Oh fuck that! So, mine is only my molars. Yeah, mine was my whole top row, and because I guess like my teeth were just too close. I don't know, fucking whatever. But anyway, like that shit was fucking awful, dude. So they had to like get a mold of your mouth, mm-hmm. and to do that, they get these like little trays that they stick uh, in the roof of your mouth, and they fill it all the way the fuck up with yep. like this purple looking paste, I've and they fucking shove it. it dude, is so it's so huge, nasty. dude. It's like you're taking a big fucking black cock in your mouth. It's so big, <laughs> it's like- you just cannot fit it in. 
This is I'm just doing. <laughs> no, it feels like somebody put an entire container of whipped cream in your mouth. Yes. Except it, it tastes like dog it, ass. Yeah, it tastes like shit and it's so uncomfortable. I could never be gay even if I wanted to because I have the worst <laughs> gag. I have the worst gag reflexes in mankind. <laughs> so they, they stuck this Your mold thing in my mouth. They, <laughs> <laughs> they stuck this mold thing in my mouth. And I was just like hyping myself up, you know, breathing like I can do this. I can do this. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. They stick it in. I'm projectile vomiting <laughs> over okay. the top of the mold oh, and like no. vomiting. <laughs> I'm like vomiting all over the dentist's like arm. It's getting everywhere, dude. And I had grits. For, I had grits for breakfast, so it's just like grits and hey, bacon. Grits. Just grits, bacon, and eggs just getting all over this dude's arm. You like drowned <laughs> on your own. Vomit. It was awful, man. And then I got my expander put in, and uh. They, they, there's a key that they stick in the top of the uh, thing and they push it back like towards the back of your throat to make it expand. Mm -hmm. So there's this little key going in, your, in the roof of your mouth and then they push it back. And the <laughs> little key... <laughs> well, I, I'm laying on my back, right? And I'm freaking out because I just got it put in. <clears throat> and this fucking nurse has this big-ass light in my face and I'm laying on my back. And she's like, all right, we're going to make it expand real quick. And this key, obviously, if you let go of this key, it's going to fall down my throat and I'm going to die. <laughs> so they, they have a strap on the back of this key that you're supposed to put around your wrist like a Wii remote, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and this nurse sticks it in the top of my mouth and is pushing backwards to try and make it expand, but nothing happens. And I can like tell that she's struggling to do it. And then you just hear like this cling and she has a mask on, but I can see her eyes get so fucking wide because I, like, I knew she fucked up <laughs> and I was like, god. oh fuck, she didn't have the strap on this key. And I was like, oh my fucking god, I'm going to die. I'm going to choke to death. I'm like frozen still. And then she's just like, oh, there it is. Somehow it <laughs> ended up on my chest. Don't know how. Oh, Holy shit. It flung from out of my mouth onto my chest. Dude, I thought I was going to choke That's death on the key. That's another dude perfect trick right there. <laughs> Things flinging out of his mouth. The, every the every story dentist is a dude perfect. <laughs> it was a little metal key, wow. too, dude. That would have fucked my throat up. The doctor's oh, yeah. just like launching a basketball across a football field into a hoop. <laughs> He's fixing your teeth. <laughs> Do you guys ever have any like really fucking weird doctors? I had one, so... Yeah, I don't know if you guys open. have seen... <laughs> Okay, other than that, well, he's not weird. He's just fucking Ethiopian. Yeah, <laughs> but, just uh, a different language. I don't know if you guys have seen pictures of me from like two years ago. I used to have a mole to the right of my mouth, mm -hmm. um, just like just below my mouth. And when I went to get that removed, there was like, I don't know, she was pretty young. And I think she was just trying to like make it not feel menacing, but I already wasn't very nervous about it. All they do is like basically inject around that area and literally slice it off mm -hmm. and then cauterize it. So I really wasn't nervous or anything because, like, I don't know, there's nothing that could potentially fuck up and get me, you know, like, it, deathly ill or some shit. So, but she was, she did it, whatever, not a big deal. Hurt a little bit, but not that bad. But was really fucking weird is when she, when she went to cauterize it, she, like, so she could directly see my face, she, like, pretty much straddled over where I was sitting. And that wasn't that <laughs> big of a deal. I was kind of like, all right, it's a little weird, but whatever. But as she's fucking cauterizing my face, just like burning my flesh and hair, she's just like, oh, I do love that smell in the morning and just kept going. Oh, God. I was so fucking dude. I as was you're getting straddled, <laughs> as I'm getting straddled oh, and literally yes. my face is being melted. Like it smelled. How did so, you not I don't get know a boner? You, I, I don't know if you've. <laughs> I, dude, I've never been more flaccid. <laughs> I want to get the fuck out of there. Like I know she was just trying to be like, ha, ha you know, funny joke. But I was like, nah, I need to fucking leave. This is fucked. <laughs> like I don't know if you've ever smelled like human hair being burnt. Yes, but it is. Yes, I have. It's absolutely awful. disgusting. And she just literally just a. <laughs> Like a deep <laughs> whiff. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, I need to uh, fucking get out of here. Yeah, that shit was odd. Doctors are a different fucking breed, man. She probably left that office and then went and stole 101 Dalmatians. What? what uh, Nobody's seen 101 Dalmatians? Sorry, right, you guys are fucking uncultured swine. I've seen it. I just have no fucking clue. Is that the one with the villain from the movie? Really terrible joke. This 
Carilla you know, Deville fair. or whatever her name is. Is she a doctor? Yeah, I don't know. She's, oh. Yeah. She's an evil villain that steals dogs. That, that bit <clears> didn't work <throat> out very well for you. <clears throat> I don't like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> any other interesting that. doctor or dentist stories from anybody or disney villains <laughs> <laughs> uh, no i, I no, think all my dentist stuff's been like normal i, yeah, I still have all like my wisdom teeth uh Me too. All, like, normal looking Same. and like and they're all yeah. in oh, so i never had to have them taken out <clears throat> i have I one that's sideways came in yet really yeah I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot you're like twelve. I have one of them that's sideways, but it's not impacting my teeth. And it's been <laughs> I'm twenty-two there for years like, old. For anyone wondering, uh, twenty-two. No, not really. Yeah, would you Body believe? I almost said chat. <laughs> would Would you guys <laughs> believe? Would that, you guys believe? <laughs> would you guys believe that Soup is the youngest out of all of us? Well, other than Grizzly. Well, they don't know what y'all fucking look like. So what are you even trying to say? Yeah, no, it's just. I don't know. It's just weird. I, I Two was, out of four of us are anonymous little fucking losers. I mean, with with the context <laughs> of what we all look like, I would think Soup is not the youngest, to be fair. Oh, yeah. yeah. But Soup, they don't know what you fucking retards look like. Soup looks like a 39-year-old dad to me at all points in time. Not a bad-looking 39-year-old dad. <laughs> you look just, like a massive a 30... loser. <laughs> God, bring a gun to a knife fight. Jesus. <laughs> Dude, can I talk about your hot video? <laughs> what hot video? Oh, oh, the face, the face swap, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude I've is trying been, to, like, make us play I've for the other team. <laughs> is so it working? I fucking erect <laughs> when your face was on Kylie Jenner. I was, I okay. was about to give yeah. it all up. <laughs> for context, there's this, there's this app going around right now called, like, Reface or something, where it, it's really good. Reface. Reverse. Did I say it like that? <laughs> um, and uh, you you just take a picture of yourself and it puts your face on like any GIF or video and it does a really good job. It's like, it looks real as hell. So I put my face on uh, WAP. Cardi B's WAP <laughs> and uh, man, I had some For tickle buddies. <laughs> For everyone. You were Ooh. all of them. Yes, I was <laughs> all just, the bitches. I'd look at tits and I'd be like, wow, awesome. And then it'd pan and up to your up face and, the, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm even more hard now. That's awesome. Hey, <laughs> hey, I did jerk off to it. Just I yeah, I did do twice. And I then I you guys are welcome. I saw it in my pants. You're welcome, guys. I'm coming right now thinking about it. Yeah. Mm. I also I'm filled my diaper as we speak. I've actually, yeah, I've actually been jerking off this entire podcast. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I just finished. <laughs> okay, can we talk about next topic that isn't soup finishing? <laughs> All right, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> All right, my, I will read the next. That's topic my topic for you. transition. <laughs> that's really bad. So you're like Batman oh, I scene like, transition. I like the one. I like the one. Uh, Soup came up with. Uh, have you guys had any really bad haircuts? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, in 2009. <laughs> I'm not going Did first. He? <laughs> <laughs> he probably had a bowl cut. I had a bowl cut when I was younger. Bowl cuts were younger like a thing still. to have for a short amount of time, though. Like, as a kid, that was like a thing to have as a bowl cut. Yeah, but it's still no. ugly as hell. Oh, yeah, when you look back on it now, but when you were young, it was like, ooh, bowl cut? Like ooh, all over a tree. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think every kid... Not now, but I, every kid I that never like, had a bowl grew up around cut. that time. Oh, well, that's probably because you're from a different century. What? Yeah. Aren't you a I'm future the, travel like, guy? I had like a bowl cut, but not <laughs> like not where it was like straight across, like you know, like the like bowl cut two point oh, basically. <laughs> oh, wait, so was Justin like a Bieber. Helmet? Yeah, like kind of like the Bieber haircut, but it annoyed me when everyone was like, "Oh, you got the Justin Bieber hair, Bieber hair." Because you did have Bieber hair. Well, but it's, I it's got just, my hair cut like that. Whenever I was really young, before Justin Bieber was a thing, and I got it cut like that because I thought Drake Bell was cool because his hair. Oh uh, yeah, like he did kind of have the original cool. like Justin Bieber haircut. Yeah, yeah, it annoyed me when everyone was like Bieber. I was like, dude, fucking Drake Bell is why I cut my hair like that. Yeah, if your hair is <laughs> if your hair is like medium length at all, Drake Bell is cooler than Bieber. Anyway, dude. Oh yeah, Drake Bell beats no, women. Just, exactly. Wow. That's why he's cooler <laughs> than Bieber. That's why he's not biggest. Why do you think I wanted his haircut? Yeah. And he, pl- he plays guitar. But uh, no, no, anytime you have like 
semi medium length hair. Everybody's just like, oh, you got Bieber hair. Yeah, so it does, yeah you, you can't escape that. Gross. I never had Bieber hair, although I did, which a lot of people still find very hard to believe. I had a fucking massive afro. Huh? Like I had a massive afro. Like it was huge. A mafro. A mafro. Matt with an afro. I don't know if I have any pictures of it, but every once in a while, one of my old high school buddies will randomly tweet it out, and I'll always retweet it when I see it. I'm sure somebody in the comment section probably fucking has it, because I know Ash tweeted it out <laughs> once, but yeah, I had like, like, it was literally like five inches off my head. <laughs> like, it was, it was pretty big. Damn, it was son. pretty significant. I don't think anything can compete with Grizzly's afro, though. That shit's wild. No, dude, like it was doll. literally bigger than Grizzly's afro. I don't know about that one. Have you seen that picture of him I'll, where like I'll find a picture. Have you seen that Maybe picture of him where he's like I don't know if it's as thick as Grizzly's Afro, but when I combed it up and like fucking like fully it? gave it a little little tugs, yeah, it was fucking Dude, that thing was so fucking ugly, but I, it got me so many girls at the time. Literally <laughs> like sit there at lunchtime and like three girls would just come up and start like playing with my hair. I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be my in. And then they start talking to him. And they tried to he suck your dick while you were playing Mario Kart. And they're like, nah. As soon as you start talking, they're like, ah, never mind. <laughs> Hi, my name's Matt now. Gone. Yeah. No, it was always like girls that like someone new. It was never just like a random stranger at the mall would just come up and like touch my afro. <laughs> but it was like, you know, just like high school kind of shit. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. It was so fucking ugly, though. My, I had uh, a really bad fucking made me cut haircut it. one time. Uh. Because I went with my dad, and southern dads don't give a shit. They're just like, ah, fucking do whatever. You know, <laughs> like, shave his head, shave his head, he don't need no fucking hair. Shave his head. But, like, I went and, you know, some shitty ass barbershop. I don't even know why I did it. But my hair in the front was cut straight across. But it oh, wasn't, man. dude, it wasn't even straight, though. It was like slanted. <laughs> it was probably like a $3 haircut. And I went to the bathroom and fucking cried, dude. I bawled my eyes out because I looked in the mirror and I was just like, dude, I'm going to get roasted so hard at school. Because that's the word. You're like, whenever you get a haircut and you're in school, it's just like, you know, your friends yeah, that's are going to shit on about. you. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So my friends are just going to shit on me for this. My uh, my parents had me let me skip school once for like four days after a really bad haircut because it was my fucking dad's fault. No, it was my mom's it's fault. It's always dad's, dude. It was probably. No, I'm pretty dad. sure it was my mom that time. Um, no, no, you're right. It was my dad. We went to it's it was a shitty dads. ass place, and we went to a different place than I used to like going same, to. They were closed. Same. <laughs> so like he brought me in, and there's a little chart. Like it was one of those places where you're just supposed to like go in, pick a number and shut the fuck up and let them, you know, make your hair one of the seven picks or whatever. And normally they would just like trim my hair. And this lady got the buzzer out, so I knew something was up right away. <laughs> and I was in like I was like first year grade nine. <laughs> so I was like, you know, you gotta be cool as fuck then. Otherwise you're just getting flamed and your confidence for the rest of high school is done. <laughs> so I, I was already like Nah, something something's up here. Like that ain't that ain't right. Normally those don't come out. They just use scissors. And like my head compared to the rest of my body is pretty small. So I hated when my hair was super short. And she literally buzzed all of it, but left the top super fucking long. But it wasn't like you know how people do that now, where it's like trendy, have like this undercut. Yeah. It was yeah. just bad. <laughs> like it was like it was like what's <laughs> no not even like my hair was like super like. I don't know. It was like straight down and it just like I don't know. It looked like somebody just dropped somebody else's hair on a bald guy. You just had like curtains <laughs> hanging down on your forehead and everything else. Was yeah, shaved. literally. Yeah, oh. literally that. And I fucking and he just got up left. I didn't say a word the whole car ride home. I just fucking went in my room. And I just thought about life. And before that, I never wore hats. And I just got a bunch of hats that we had for winter, and I just started trying them all on to see what hats I could wear to school. And I just woke up the next day and was like, Mom, I'm not going to school. I look too stupid. She let me stay home for like four days. She was, <laughs> was like, fucking... yeah, you do, son. Stay home. Yeah. She yeah, probably son, you saved your life, bro. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, my mom saved me from getting flamed for like four years. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to wear hats to school. I mean, yeah, I guess, were we. since I you just, were in Canada, I guess maybe the cold. No, no, no it's it probably was, a matter of life and death up there. Mather, life mather. and dude, that, scarves, scarves got banned at our uh, our school. My school, really? I had a stroke. Yeah, we we weren't allowed to wear scarves, which I didn't anyway. But like girls, they weren't allowed to wear them. 
Because I guess was it like, schools in the South hate Muslims. He looked like a yeah, Muslim. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Was it like, was it, uh, <laughs> was it, was it one of those? Hey, you little goddamn jihadists. Take that scarf off, girl. <laughs> Cover oh, up them that ankles. Would, that, would, that would not fly. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine maybe it's like, so that like, kids couldn't get away with having like hickeys or something. Uh, I can't think of a reason. That's weird. Why? Why? Who would care about a kid's hickey? Like, who would pay attention to a kid's hickey? That's weird. Like a high school kid. I guess. The adult that caused it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the gym teacher. Which, speaking of, the cop that worked at my school got arrested for fucking a kid in his office. So oh, could be. What why. the hell? Yep. Yes, yeah, huh. it's pretty wild. That shit happens. Um. So you guys won't know who this guy is, but a lot of Canadians will for the nine of us that watch the podcast there's this we like you have to learn like I, you guys have to learn spanish right in your schools mm-hmm. well, we don't have yeah, french. so so okay so we had to learn french and when we were in grade school and there's this guy named there's this guy named atn and he was like every fucking school made you watch atn videos and he would like teach you the fucking alphabet and he'd like make songs out of verbs and shit and it was just it was really fucking whack like a wiggle but he was it? actually yeah, he was yeah, literally like the Wiggles, but everyone in fucking at least Ontario had to watch this fucking guy sing. And he was actually my grade 9 French teacher, and I was so stoked because I was like, "Holy fuck, this guy's like a celebrity to me." And like, I don't know, I thought that was crazy cool. And then after like the first month, we realized like after every class a police officer would come in and like talk to him we always try to figure out what the fuck was going on apparently he was just like a raging alcoholic who got in trouble for being drunk while teaching the kids <laughs> so, like, oh God, that's <laughs> awesome <laughs> the fame of being a french singing verb guy <laughs> got to him he would get drunk teaching <laughs> my fifth so grade funny. teacher literally had so a gun lit. in class what <laughs> that's not that a no- that's not that abnormal now yeah uh, there's there's teachers who carry now. I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. Or at least they were talking about doing it because all the shootings Whoa. and stuff. But God, when we were younger. Like, that was weird. Though. <laughs> imagine talking in class and the pe- teacher just pulls out the strap. Like, <laughs> they don't even tell you. Yeah, they don't even tell you to stop. <laughs> you know, they just point a fucking Glock at your face. <laughs> <laughs> we we like never, we never seen desk. it. We never seen it. But it was always like a rumor with the parents. It was just like, yeah, he he has a gun in there just in case anybody comes in to try and like. <laughs> Hurt just the in case anybody doesn't do their homework. I mean, <laughs> that's <laughs> okay. That's a little excessive. Like Scare you I mean, into doing your work. <laughs> I would probably have done my homework in high school if somebody put probably, a gun in my yeah. fucking head. So that's all teachers that, carry that, a gun uh, if you don't do your work. Yeah, you guys had uh, locker partners, right? When you were in school, locker no, partners. We just had our own. Yeah, so like, What's I guess maybe there was. Jail? <laughs> It really does. <laughs> no, like, I guess there were too many kids and not enough lockers, so we had to share uh, a locker with another student um, when I was in sixth grade. And I got the, I got to share the locker with this retard. And I, and I mean that literally. Like, actual? Oh, like, boy. like <laughs> literally, yeah. And uh, this kid, so, like, I would bring, you, you guys ever had Andy Caps, like, hot fries before? No. They're, yeah. they're like, I've had, like the, the Cheeto hot fries. Oh, oh, it's kind of like that. They're like little, little like uh, oh, cheese yeah, yeah, puff, yeah. like French fry looking things, dude, but they're like yeah. dude really with the big spicy. Nose, red hat. I know yeah, and he's like throwing one in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I used to bring those as like a snack. And this dude, this retard, he would sit in class. <laughs> okay, and you're really would, making a point that he's retarded. We get it. <laughs> well, because he would sit in class and he would literally dig in his bunghole and sniff his fingers. And I would go into my locker later and I would find half of my hot cap, my, my hot fries just eaten. <laughs> With doo doo fingers, dude. dude I yeah. bet he got. I bet he got fecal matter all over your stuff. Yeah, you has eaten so much tart shit. Yeah. <laughs> You've honestly I, probably eaten autism kid shit. Like, yeah. Indirectly. Well, that's probably why I absorbed does his that, powers. Does that make it worse than YouTube regular bio. kid shit? <laughs> I ate autism kid shit. <laughs> yeah, it was. God. It was. I hated that entire year of school because every snack I brought to school, I knew was gonna have like, like retard shit. Why didn't you just like, in it. keep it in your backpack or something? No, he. No, I did. I kept it in my like a lunchbox in my backpack. He went. He knew that I had them, so he I went digging in all my stuff. On my backpack. I honestly should have. But like, reported you that just to the like principal a, or something like. Yeah. Just eating all my food. Well, what do you? Uh, you should have just bashed his like, head in the locker. Okay. <laughs> Would have made him stronger. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so I hated no, that entire year. The real question is, why did you have a special person you, in class with you? Were you? If I were you, you I would have. I would have shit in one of his textbooks and just smeared it everywhere. <laughs> just shit the just get him back. Yeah, just, just shit, shit and just shit slam the book. And slam it close. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, there, he wasn't like he wasn't like super super special needs uh, like like actual like he needs someone to. So well, he's kind of like you a little bit. Yeah, he was kind of like me, just like on <laughs> That's the spectrum. Why you guys shared a locker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys wore helmets at school too, right? Of course. Yep. Oh, okay, course. just check it. That's good. All right. Um, yeah, no, but sometimes there was some of the slower kids just in the regular classrooms that were like yeah. kind of able to keep up, but like not, <laughs> yeah. n- not too far gone. They drink this was like. <laughs> yeah, they can Looking handle it. back, this was super, super, super fucked. But, um, back when I was in grade school, like, when you're in, like, grade school, they kind of just, like, like, I, we had a kid that was, like, very, um, like, he was very autistic. Like, he definitely needed helpers and stuff all the time. And we had a substitute <laughs> teacher. And... His, it, Why did that make you laugh? <laughs> that he needs help. We had a, we had a <laughs> substitute <laughs> teacher, and the very autistic kid wasn't there. But during that class, the autistic kid got to play computer games. So my friend, I'll call him Jay, my friend pretended to be the Mm. autistic kid for the substitute teacher, and the whole class went along with it, (laughs) and he just sat there and was, like, trying to act as as retarded as he possibly could. Dude, I did that same shit with one of my friends. I swear to God. I convinced the sub I was his helper. I swear to God. Yeah, that's what I did. I, like, like helped Jay get up and walk over to the computer and fucking sat with him while he played cool math games on the computer. (laughs) (laughs) He just was fucking sitting there talking normal and then she'd come over and he'd just try to be retarded again it was so fucking bad you're in like grade five so you just like you don't know any better you just kind of <sighs> like yeah you know haha but looking back that is it was so fucked up oh mine was in high school <laughs> yeah, that, honestly that sounds like something you know high better than to do that then what the fuck <laughs> oh my god you're awful <laughs> Are you going to elaborate on the story? We'd love to hear it. No, I I was just just told the the sub was a really old lady. And I was just like, yeah, he's, you know, special and I'm his helper. And just that's just what Imagine it was. Imagine looking at soup and thinking, yeah, that guy's responsible for another person's life. That's the life. blind leading the blind. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever uh, get a substitute teacher and like tell them the wrong name? Or you'd like agree with one of your friends to like switch names for the day? Yep. Yeah, As if it would fun. affect their life at yeah, all. Yeah, no, it's just like, but to you, it's like, <laughs> yeah, oh my God, you're gym gym <laughs> yeah, it's something you can get away with. I used yeah. to do this really funny shit to my friends in school. Like, <laughs> dude, it would be hilarious where, uh, like, a teacher would be turned around at the board, like, writing something or whatever. And I would, I would sit, like, right next to my best friend. And I'd just be like, dude, can you stop? And he wouldn't be doing anything at all. <laughs> and the teacher would just turn around and get on to him. And I kept doing it. And he got like sent out of the class. He got like wrote up. You and he literally did nothing. It was just me <laughs> by saying, I was like, dude, can you please stop? And she would just turn around and be like, Dave, enough. Yeah, I used <laughs> and to he'd just sit there just listening. Shit. Yeah, and he'd just be like, I'm not doing anything. And nobody said anything. <laughs> Everyone went along with it. <laughs> we literally did the same shit. It was like, we do it during tests, though. I was sitting there writing my test and my friend was literally on the other side of the fucking room and like it was like two of my best friends we all used to like all three of us used to do it and we literally on the opposite side of the room and the teacher is just sitting there like whatever marking tests already handed in it's like Matt stop cheating dude teacher got up fucking took my test and made me sit in the hallway and I fucking failed. Oh my God. He just took my test because he thought I was cheating. So he fucking took it, sent me in the hallway, and my friend was... I was so fucking mad. I didn't talk to him for like two days because I was so fucking pissed. <laughs> I was so fucking AIDS. I used to have a... Uh, I used to bring a laser pointer to school, and uh, I would sit in class. And usually, <laughs> whenever there was like a class, I'd always try and get like a back of the class seat. I hate sitting like in the front of the class. Yeah. And yeah. I would... Uh, like the teacher would turn around and be like writing on the whiteboard... And then 
she turned around and faced the class and I just take my laser pointer and like trace around the outside of her body. I just have like the whole class like laughing. She's like, what, what are you guys laughing at? <laughs> just like, I eventually got caught, but I had to like, they took it from me and I couldn't use it anymore. But yeah, I thought it was funny. One of my buddies <laughs> had a universal remote and would like oh change, the best. would change the shit on the projector. <laughs> and, dude, it's <laughs> amazing. Like it was, it was just some app on his phone, I think. And we would go to like Buffalo Wild Wings, and and he would like change the uh, stations and stuff or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he got caught doing that at school, and <laughs> I think he got expelled for like two weeks for it. Really? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I've done that. Yeah, at, that's uh, so funny. I've done that at um, a restaurant before. Actually, a couple of restaurants. You take your like. Uh, well, you can't do it with iPhones. I don't think you've ever been able to do it with iPhones. But I know some like uh, Android phones have an IR blaster on them. So you yeah, can download you, like a remote app. An iPhone, you can. Did yeah, I ever tell you guys about the? Do that. Did I ever tell you guys about the time that a sub showed uh, us porn in class? Like just no. you know, hardcore porn. I didn't. No. <laughs> I feel like I might have brought this up at some point. Well, if I did, I'm sorry. I was in uh, I, well, maybe my first year of college. And the teacher had like a sub in and he he brought in um, he was a flaming homosexual, very homosexual. <laughs> okay. uh, that's all that 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 matters because so that was um, like spark your kind of thing. Or? Yeah, that's when I started. To, no, OK, shut the hell up. <laughs> um, <laughs> he was so cute. He, he was like 80. He's like 80 years old, but uh, and he was very gay and he brought in a VHS tape and we were supposed to learn about the Amish or something. So he brought in this tape. Why would you need to learn about the Amish? Look, man, I don't know. This was a class about like uh, one of those like oral communication classes where you're supposed to give speeches oral. and stuff. For s- oral, huh? Uh, it's all coming together. So uh, just like coming together. Days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Why are we let you me? tell a story? Let me tell the story. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, um, so for some reason, this was like on a VHS tape. And uh, so he he was showing us the, the Amish stuff. Learned a lot about Amish that I never needed to know <laughs> or cared about. But um, so he rewound it to a certain part. And apparently he also had gay porn on this VHS tape. So he what rewound it s- too far. He just and he just goes, OK, well, here's this other part. He hits play and it's like a dude going down on a dude in a wheelchair and it's like full on the screen oh like God. all of it on the screen no way 100 percent. no bs what, what what grade were you in this was first the first year, year of college oh it was in college oh i was like God. 19 oh years old or 20 or something <laughs> why, would he, why would he risk he had to have known there was gay porn on that why would he risk oh. Using he just wanted to see if he'd get any takers. <laughs> Bro, he didn't act surprised <laughs> or at all. He's just like, oh, he's like, actually, this is a beautiful. I, I shit you not. He was like, oh, actually, this is a beautiful scene right here. This is art. What the? I, fuck? You can't make was this it, up. Please tell me you sure it wasn't still part of the Amish. <laughs> 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 this is what the Amish don't want you to see. <laughs> <laughs> they build a barn and then just fuck it in. <laughs> Dude, I was like, man, college is crazy, bro. <laughs> that, that was like one of my so introductions fucking, to college. God, that is wild. Yeah. You guys it's kind of sliding off your gay topic here. Thank you. <laughs> still still on school, on though. Topic, did you guys did you guys ever do anything like like did you have any like <laughs> retarded little <laughs> mini games you used to play at school with your friends to like keep yourselves entertained while, without like being super obnoxious? Who could yell penis the loudest? Oh, okay, I remember well, the I penis said, game. Uh, yeah, penis. <laughs> yeah. Why is penis, penis so funny to like? I, I just just still think penis is funny. Children. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if we ever like penis. all went to packs, we'd play the penis game there still as as <laughs> adults. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing is you can just do that and it's normal there with all the other fucking weirdos walking around packs. Penis is <laughs> yeah, the least true. interesting thing going on. Whenever uh, I was on the baseball team, we used to yell like I'm gay very loud during practice just randomly just be like I'm gay and we had this uh one like assistant coach one year who was like super jacked he was so jacked that he couldn't throw a baseball correctly he had to throw it like side armed oh my just god just because he, his biceps were so Holy big shit <laughs> and he would get so fucking mad whenever we'd say like I'm gay he's probably on roids <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he definitely, he definitely, yeah. he definitely was, and he worked at like one of the workout supplement stores. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, or doing like SARMs or some shit. And dude, he would just get so pissed every time we do it. And one day, he like assaulted one of my friends. 
<laughs> just like threw him up against the bench and was like, "Shut the fuck up, saying you're gay. Are you fucking I'll show gay? You gay?" He's like, "Yeah." He was like, "Are you fucking gay? I'll show stop you saying it." <laughs> you just fucks him on the field. <laughs> so funny. But yeah, we used to we used to just do like stuff, stupid shit like that. In uh, in grade school, we used to facilitate wasp races. <laughs> so let me explain this. So we had this wasp? window, like White Anglo-Saxon. Whatever no, the hell? Wasp. No, wasp. Like the, the the things that look like bees, but they're dicks. Oh, uh, wasps. Wet ass sweaty uh, uh, pussy. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Uh, so we uh Ew. We used to we we were in the portable. We had this class that's like in this little fucking dinky hut fucking juniors outside. And it had these double glazed windows where you could open one pane and like it wouldn't be fully inside so we used to trap wasps at recess in between the two panes <laughs> and they couldn't like fly in there for some weird reason so they would just climb up the glass endlessly <laughs> and we would fucking sit there and the whole class would just be watching these two wasps climb up the windows and like we'd be like p placing little like bets of like lunch snacks on which wasp would get to the top first so like the teacher would be teaching and the entire class would just be staring at these two wasps <laughs> slowly climbing up a window and like one of them would fall the whole class would just like fucking freak out and the teacher had no <laughs> clue what was happening <laughs> we did it all the fucking time anytime we could trap two wasps in the window it was wasp racing <laughs> it's so wasp fucking racing. dumb <laughs> It was so entertaining to watch, though. Yo, it was so fucking stupid. Did you guys ever like when you're driving in a car in the backseat uh, with your parents or whatever, and it's raining? Did you guys ever have like raindrop races to see? Oh which yeah, still do. Yep. Still do. Yeah. Do you okay. like look out the window and like pretend you're in a music video for whatever song's playing on the radio? And you're just sad and yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> And it's like all stars. I don't, and it's I don't like do stupid. that. You're just like, <laughs> yeah. like, man, my life, my life is so shitty. And it's just, hey, now, here, I'll start. <laughs> God, we were, we were a bunch of weird children. I, mean, I wonder if there's anybody out there yeah. that's had like a, just a perfectly normal childhood. No just one. No. Great grades, like no joking around with friends. Well, I feel like normal is a matter of like perspective, right? Yeah, I guess that's true. Because, like, a normal day for us is a fucked up day for an accountant. Like, yeah, he's supposed to be an accountant, but he played video games and edited a video today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> well, that's like saying a, a normal day a for a garbage thing. man is a weird day for a back massager. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> put that exactly. In any situation. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's relative. Yeah, no, it's exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, just mean, like, I wonder if anybody, how many people have gone through a childhood and just, like, had, like, no issues. Just, like, a perfect childhood to just... Great grades. Just Maybe no, the royal family. Friends boring. that didn't live in the would be though. super boring. Yeah, I don't know. Like that, that, fuck that. <laughs> I'd rather die than have that. Yeah. That sounds awful. I'm Not having any life experience. Childhood. Yeah, same. It's, it's great. I love reminiscing and going back and thinking, wow, that was weird and still being weird now. It's epic. Yeah, you know what's really good weird time. is uh, the fact that we've been doing this podcast for about an hour now, so I think it's a good time to end it. And, Thank uh, God. <laughs> And then, torture, like, jerking yeah. off together, and whew, I mean, are you gonna do yeah. your little outro soup? My little outro, yeah, your little, little like outro? sub, blah blah uh, blah. And then Gucci I tell dude I want to suck his butthole off, and then <laughs> podcast ends. I suck Thank you guys for listening. Ass. If you're on Spotify, be sure to Spotify it up. If you're on YouTube, be <laughs> sure that to Spotify like, comment, button. like, comment, subscribe. We are the Goons Podcast. You are a person or a dog. Goodbye.